It's the kind of hug that you might say is at the heart of the City of Phoenix Human Services Community Action Program. In the midst of getting COVID, my job was no longer offering COVID pay. Lashana is a single mom with a five-year-old son. She was close to losing her home. So yeah, I was so, fine on rent, car payment, everything else. Veronica is a caseworker at the Travis L. Williams Family Services Center. She's one of my special clients, Lashana. Um, we helped her, first we did help her with rental assistance. Veronica is one of more than 30 City of Phoenix caseworkers spread across three family services centers. If they don't have um, affordable, affordable and safe housing, that's the first thing you have to look for is affordable and safe housing for them. Then you have to find employment so they'll be able to keep the housing. We basically um, help clients with, um, with the care and services that they need. And so that looks a little bit different for each one of our clients. Um, Gabriella works at the John F. Long Family Services Center. You kind of develop a rapport with them over time, and then you start seeing that, that panic kind of go away, you know, and you're just kind of working with them, kind of guiding them. The caseworkers connect the clients with emergency financial assistance, city and community resources, child care options, and even help clients fill out documents and navigate the process to get public services. Um, I've got a few thank you notes here from some of our clients. Good to know that they're doing well. And my son has his own room. Um, his room is LeBron James and he loves it. And um... For Lashana, now successful in her new job, all it took was the right connection at the right time. Yeah, Travis L. Williams, Ms. Veronica, like you guys, you really helped me get back on my feet.